million views on YouTube. Um, I started as a, as a 14 year old boy on Indian radio and I always believed that I wanted to break rules and I realized that if I was a, a radio station I would never have been able to break the rules that I wanted to do. I wanted to be myself which means at times make people laugh, at times make people cry with soul content, emotional content, at times ask fiery questions and that would have only happened if it was my channel, my podcast and who I am. So I gave up a, a radio station job and today people can only hire me for my YouTube channel. You've got to pay me something extraordinary to get onto another platform because my platform is doing so well and I'm being very true to myself and I find that today across the world Bollywood stars are coming to me as their first platform to give interviews in an era when people come to networks to give interviews for an individual for Bollywood stars say I want to come to him I want to speak my heart out to him I want to be true to him means a lot it would have never been done a few years back but it's happened now and you've been associated with the IFAS for about 22 years yes, how did that start? you know I was a 14 year old boy <coughs> who was uh, doing radio and they were looking for a voice for IFA and one of the guys said listen you're too young we need a heavy baritone voice you won't be able to do it so the first I was rejected saying that, hey, you're too young and you don't have that heavy, mature voice. And then next year, I kind of called the owners of Viscraft and I said, I want to do this. And they again said, listen, you're 15 years old now. Wait for some more time till you get that maturity in your voice. I became 16 and I said, let me send you a voice note on your phone. And I did that voice and they called back saying, are you ready? You want to really do it? Please do it now. So I said, yeah, in two years, from a 14-year-old, I became a 16-year-old man. Wow. Okay, finally, we're actually from a radio station in Kenya. So, if there's anyone out there who wants to aspire to be in radio, what are your tips for young boys and girls? You know, I love radio. I'm a radio boy. Radio teaches you to be fearless. Radio makes you think on your feet. Uh, I always believe radio hosts are the best talkers in the world because you don't have a camera looking at you, right? At least now, sometimes we you have do. that camera. You're audio visual. You're an audio visual. But in those days, we never had cameras. So, the only way you could express was be spontaneous, high energy, think on your feet. So radio jockeys, you thrive wherever you go. And today when you're audio visual, believe you me, to do audio and visual together is a lethal combination. If I got a chance, one day I will start my own radio station and give, give people a chance who never got a chance to come on my station. And that will happen in a few years from now when I'll own my own station. We wish you all the best. Thank you for your Thank time. You. Thank you. And Kenya, right? Yes. Wonderful country, and I want to hear your content. I heard, I heard you guys are fabulous on radio. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's the first guest you're going to have on your show? You know, uh, I have a, a list of where I interview 20, 25 stars, but I only interview stars who come to me to do interviews. So there's a huge lineup. But now, besides Bollywood A-listers, I'm also getting a lot of character actors. You know, because those character actors have great stories to tell, right? And, and now content is king and all these character actors are actually not character actors they're actually becoming mainstream hero heroines like you would say so it's great to hear their stories their trials their tribulations uh, their honesty and viewers actually give you more views when it comes to character actors because they give you so much as well right our Bollywood A-listers they're phenomenal but we've been there done that with them and still doing that with them but it's the time, like we do with OTT, to get character actors in place who are actually bringing twists and turns in their characters. And I'm talking to them in depth and they're giving answers in depth as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd love to co-host with, ah, that's a very tricky question, but I'll tell you with Shah Rukh Khan because he's witty. Hi, I'm Siddharth Kanan. Keep watching Bollywood Helpline. Hi, I'm Siddharth Kanan. Keep watching News Helpline. From Abu Dhabi, IFA Awards 2023 to News Helpline. Keep helping the world with your news. Are you 
Varun Dhawan, uh, last year I was very excited for, I just mentioned Tiger Shroff, but Abhishek Bachchan surprised me this year, Abhishek is hosting, maybe someone else will surprise me this year. I would want to host with Manish Paul because he's also my best friend and he's the best host the country has at the moment. And then I would want Salman sir to just come in uh, bits and pieces when we two are performing. Yes. And there are a lot of people, and I know Vicky is also performing, Vicky Kaushal. So uh, there are a few surprises which are not being told. Also. I'm looking for the whole of the event, uh, and later than Pata uh, Chalega kya hai. I'm very excited. I can yeah, answer all so the questions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We were so happy to see you yesterday with Farah. Yeah, thank you. She's can amazing. Can you tell us which projects are you currently working on? Uh, wait, one second. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Which projects are you currently working on? I, uh, I've finished a couple of them. There's one, Guns and Gulab, which is my first Netflix series with Rajan DK. There's Mr. and Mrs. Mahi with Janvi Kapoor. Uh, there's a biopic called Shri. Um, so yeah. A lot of work in that Which project are you excited about? All of them. Hi, sir. Yes, of course. She's a dear friend and she's very funny. We all know about her sense of humor, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun this evening. We're from Kenya. You have a uh, message for your fans in Kenya? I love you all, guys. Take care of yourself and thanks for liking my work. What would you mind saying this to you? Uh, well, it's my first time at IFA, so I won't be able to really uh, reveal much. But I, but I love, I'm loving being at Abu Dhabi. It's, it's uh, great energy. I think great vibe, uh, great structure, uh, of course, amazing roads and and people. I, I love the people of Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for liking my work, and I love you all, and I can't wait to meet all of you in person whenever I can. Yeah, thank you. We will be, sir. That's how I am uh, on film set also. I'm very spontaneous. I think here also that's going to happen. Uh, we would just feed off each other's energy. All of them. There are a lot of uh, uh, musical performances tonight, so I'm excited for all of them. They're all supremely talented people. Uh, Anamika Khanna, sir. Aifa is like मैं जब बहुत छोटा था मैं हिंदी में बात करूँगा मुझे अपनी मातृ भाषा में बात करना बहुत ज़्यादा ही पसंद है और कहते हैं कि सिर्फ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज है आप लोगों ने बोला कि सब इंग्लिश में बात करो हिंदी भाषा में थोड़ा लंबा खींचूँगा पर बहुत ज़रूरी बात है 
हिंदी भाषा में हर शब्द का इतना महत्व होता है अब इंग्लिश में सन को क्या बोलोगे सन ही बोलोगे हमारे में हमारे में सूरज दिवाकर दिनकर कितने शब्द हैं तो हमारी जो आइफा पे जो हमारी आइफा है इट्स इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री का अवार्ड्स होते हैं वो हमारी एक लेगेसी अलग है सलमान खान साहब की और जो बड़े बड़े दिग्गज साहब हैं जो भी पुराने अक्षय कुमार हो गए सब हो गए इन लोगों ने इसको बहुत अच्छे से रंगा है इसको और हम लोग बस उनके नक्शे कदमों पर चल रहे हैं और छोटे छोटे सपनों को पाने का मकसद एक अपना और कुछ नहीं है जी रहे चल रहे हैं थैंक यू सैवेज कोशिश करते हैं कहते हैं वो कहते ना कि चीते की चाल बास की नज़र बाजीराव की तलवार सलमान खान की कमिटमेंट और शिवम शर्मा की एंटरटेनमेंट में संदेह नहीं करते कभी भी माफ दे सकते हैं How are you? Question for you. Um, we've seen you behind the direct uh, camera as a director. Yes, yes. Any future plans of directing? Yes, I want to. I'm I'm getting the itch right now. I took a long break, and I enjoyed it. Hi, how are you? Uh, how is Abhinav different from past Aifa Definition? From past IFA, definitely. You know uh, the hospitality here; uh, you can't beat, and the love of the fans. I think they are really they love Bollywood. You know, so when we come, it's almost like coming home, but it's a it's a more exotic home. Um, any messages you have for your Abu Dhabi fans? No, keep loving us, yeah, because we survive on that. Hmm. I'm from Kenya. Any plans uh, of coming to film in I Kenya? I want to come, yeah. Been? No, my my hairdresser is from Kenya. Very, send him our love. We know Perry really well. Yes, of course. Do you mind saying this for us? We're from yeah. a radio station. Sure. Hi, this is Farah Khan, and you're listening to me on radio. You're listening to me on Radio 44 Nairobi. Thank you, sir. Hi. We know we are working on a lot of projects right now. Okay. We need to see you working with Asha here. I, Inshallah, from your mouth to God's ears. Yeah. Uh, designer, uh, first time I'm wearing a called Sanya Matkar. Hey, what is the importance of events like I for from such an accomplished person? Like I think you know it. It's a way to just show our the international fan who never get a chance to see what is happening. Right? Where is the life? You know, it just keeps becoming bigger and bigger, bigger, bigger every year. Yeah. And hats off to the Alpha people because let me tell you. I heard Bachas performing and obviously super excited for it. Yeah. It's going to be really funny, I think, and that's the comedy element is what I really look forward to. If you had to co-host, I would be your co-host. Co-host, Ranveer Singh, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to stand. He can do all the antiques. Thank you.